John Hennessy here, and uh, we're talking about our Dynagraph uh, on our Dynajet uh, chassis dyno regarding our HP 1000 upgrade for the for the uh, Dodge Hellcat Challenger and Charger. This particular Hellcat Challenger uh, belongs to a client overseas, and what we do on every vehicle before we do our uh, upgrade packages, we'll baseline the vehicle on the dyno. So the uh, numbers of the rear wheels stock are pretty darn impressive. This is one of the higher producing uh, Hellcats that I've seen on our dyno, producing a peak horsepower number of 664 rear wheel horsepower. So that's the actual power going to the rear tires. Typically we see the Hellcats more in the 630, 640 at the wheel range. Again, comparing that to the 707 at the motor, that's the number from the factory. Also the rear wheel torque is 617, which is pretty good. And you can see the line, the graph on the, on the torque is literally, it is, a, is a flat as a table. It's as flat as your dinner table. So you're making that torque, you're making, yeah, you're making that torque really from 3,200 RPM to all the way out to 6,000 RPM. You know, you're down to like six, yeah, it's right there at six, just a little over 600 foot pounds of torque. Same thing on the horsepower. The horsepower is actually very linear. So the more RPM you turn, the more power it makes. I mean, Hellcats, that's what makes Hellcats fun to drive and fast in bone stock farm. So for the crazy people out there that say, well, why do you have to take a, a 707 horsepower uh, Hellcat and give it, more horsepower, give it more horsepower? And the simple answer is, kind of like Bill Clinton said, because we can, okay? Because I can. And so, uh, and if you're one of the uh, nut jobs that subscribes to Because We Can, um, welcome to Hennessy Performance. That's why we have uh, 80 different uh, cars, uh, trucks, and SUVs here for, uh, uh, for more horsepower because we can. So anyway, again, stock Hellcat, very powerful, very capable, but uh, if, if a lot of horsepower is good, then more horsepower is better. And so enter our HP 1000 upgrade with the 4.5 liter supercharger, running about 14 pounds of boost on 93 octane pump fuel. This has also got our long tube stainless steel headers, high flow cats, high flow intake, larger throttle body, fuel system, fuel injectors, retuned computer, factory stock transmission, which as long as you're not doing hardcore drag racing, I believe would be fine if you want to put slicks on it and try to go run low nines or high eights, then I would recommend that we upgrade the transmission. But for most of our clients are driving them on the street and occasional drag strip visits. And so the, 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 the power differences are not just dramatic, they're, they're, they're hugely, hugely different. So again, looking at the torque, the peak torque jumps from, the peak torque jumps from 617 to 770. And I think if you can kind of see the differential on the graph, especially when you get into the mid range and at the higher RPM, you're looking at, you know, pushing 170 foot pounds gain over stock. Again, stock is really strong, but the, the, uh, the, the torque of the uh, HP 1000 is, um, I mean, I've driven this car. I did a video last week talking about the Demon. And sorry if you watched that video and you thought it was about the Demon, that was not intended as clickbait. Uh, I don't have a Demon, so I just drove the, the, the fastest Hellcat that I had available to me and uh, we talked about it. And um, it's ridiculous fast. I mean, we'll go run some numbers on it even though it's the heat of the summer and not going to turn the most optimal times, but the car still feels like, put a drag rate on it, it feels like it'll go a, a 990 at 145, maybe higher trap speed, but it's stupid fast. And why is it stupid fast? Even though it's a big heavy car, it's got a lot of power, and it's got a lot of power everywhere. And so when we start talking about that flat table, again, this has got a little bit more of an arc to it where it hits peak torque, maybe in the mid range, maybe right in the 4,500 to 5,000 RPM range, but dude, just cracking the throttle, let's make it eight, over 800 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels on pump gas. That's, that's insane, and it carries it out. It's making over 800 rear wheel foot-pounds of torque all the way to about 6,400 RPM, and even right at 6,500 RPM, it's still just a hair under 800. That's just nuts. Also, again, you have the very linear nature of the horsepower curve, so again, right at 3,500 RPM, you're almost making 500 horsepower at the wheels. You, you uh, uh, go past 600 wheel horsepower. Basically, the 1000 package, the, uh, compared to stock, 
we are making more power than the stock Hellcat. Stock Hellcat makes peak horsepower right at, right at where it shifts, 6,200 RPM. The HP 1000 is making the same power as the stock Hellcat at 4,400 RPM. That's, that's nuts. And it just keeps on going. And we've uh, raised the rev limit on a little bit so it carries the power out further. So basically the faster it goes, the more RPM the engine pulls, the more power it makes and the faster it goes. And it's still got that torque to carry it and get it moving off the line. So I, I can't emphasize enough what, what that feels like when it drives. We'll, again, we'll run the car down the track. We'll go out and do a driving impression with it. But again, my initial driving impression is it's basically it's, a, it, it's, a, it's an addictive level of power. And um, I like that. That's a, that's a healthy addiction. Um, and if you share that, uh, you know, you got a Hellcat, we can help. That's basically it. I mean, uh, you know, kudos to the guys at FCA and Dodge and SRT. They built a hell of a car. You know, it is what it is. It's not a lightweight car. It's not designed to go out and run around the Nurburgring. It's not designed to go out and carve road courses. You've got ZL11 LEs and, you know, Mustang GT350R, great cars. This car is designed as a highway battle cruiser. It's comfortable, it's cushy. It's capable, it's got great brakes, it has good handling, and it's got a ton of power, and it's usable power. You can't use it from, you can't, you're not gonna run a Tesla from a standing start, it'll just, you know, destroy the tires. Uh, I would argue that this package, and you know, if you're looking at the Demon, you're like, I wanna get a Demon, but the dealer or whoever that has it is marking up at a crazy amount of money. You know, you get a used Hellcat for, 50, 60 grand, and new ones maybe 70 grand. You get the new 18 with the wide body, maybe that's 70, 75 grand. In our package, I think it's another 45 with a warranty. Um, this will this will kill a demon from a roll, and it'll do it on pump gas, pump gas versus race gas, however you want to do it. Basically, 4.5 liters of supercharger plus 6.2 liters of engine equals a really big, big motor. And this car to drive it feels like a really healthy, strong big block from the old school days and uh, you know these are the golden days of muscle cars and and I would argue that this car the Exorcist and uh, the Demon and other th uh, you know the ZL11 LE we are now in the era of the super muscle car I've used that term before I've heard some other people use it recently as well um, but these cars truly are becoming super mus muscle cars and um, it's fun to share it with you so Tune in, we'll, we'll do some driving soon and, and uh, enjoy, thanks.